These are my dry lips. Ow! Do I look like the girls in the commercials? And I, ooh. Good morning, everyone. I know it probably doesn't feel this way for you guys, um, but it's been a long time. I've been posting some sort of vlog once a week for the past, for this whole month. Um, but the vlogs that I have been posting were all taken within like, the, the footage was all taken within 72 hours of each other. So it's been a good three weeks since I picked up the camera to vlog anything. But I wanted to share something special with you guys because I'm about to start a new sort of journey with my skincare and I'm excited about it and I want to share it. I recently got my boho braids done as you can see. I got them installed, um, I believe the company is called Luxury Braiding. Um, you can find them on Instagram at Luxury Braiding. Um, they're based in Brooklyn so yes I did go back to New York but not just to get my hair done I had a work to do at my center and then family engagements and personal engagements with my sorority so there's I went to New York for the past few days and now I'm back literally for a day and a half and then I go back on Wednesday so if you're wondering why my face why it looks like I just rolled out of bed and put a camera in my face it's because I did so a company called Duval Brands Inc sent me a radiant spin care brush and I'm so excited about it because literally before they sent this before they contacted me I was really getting frustrated with how my skin looks um, it doesn't always look too horrible on camera but in person I can see like that my pores are clogged and um, sometimes I get breakouts depending on what I eat which is frequently because I eat bad stuff often I haven't yet gotten into a good eating habit um, but we're working on it but one of the things that I um, wanted to add into my skincare routine was a spin brush because I don't currently use any type of tool to wash my face. I pretty much just use my hands. So I was going to go out of my way to purchase my own um, spin brush or some sort of exfoliating tool for my um, skin. And then Duval reached out to me. So thank you to Duval. Also, my edges are not laid because, again, like I said, rolled out of bed. Don't judge me. So, the package came like this. I did already open it. What I didn't do was open the packaging inside, but something that I do not particularly like, and I'm sure it's not to the fault of the company, but the box was all kind of, this This was already happening when I opened the package. I didn't touch it. Um, so that's a little weird, but it probably got bounced around a lot in the shipping. But this is what it looks like. It says that it's the Radiance Spin Care System. It is water resistant and it includes four interchangeable accessories, a facial exfoliation brush, large body cleansing brush, facial cleansing brush, and a pumice stone. I was wondering why this brush is so big. I was like, whose face is this big? But I'm glad that the back of this cleared that up and it specifically says that it's a body cleansing brush, which is pretty cool too. I wonder if it comes with batteries didn't think about that before starting this video so I just took it out of the box <sighs> looks like it needs double a batteries so I'm going to try to figure that out all right so I found some batteries <laughs> I'm over here trying to figure it out there's actually instructions on the actual device itself it's showing you that it needs two batteries on each side I'll be back here we go 
it's working. And you gotta attach the brush to that. So, one of these smaller brushes. You know what I'm interested in? What's the difference between the four different well, I know the larger one is for the body, but what's the difference between the three smaller ones? One of them is a facial cleans cleansing brush, one is an exfoliating brush, and one is a pumice stone. But in which um, situations would you use each of them? You get what I'm saying? Oh, the directions tell you. So for the exfoliation brush it says it's made of very soft bristles specially designed for tender facial skin and the facial cleansing brush is it gently removes excess dirt and makeup residue from your skin and is great to use prior to exfoliation oh the pumice stone is for your feet Am I dumb for not knowing that? I know that people use stones for your feet, but I didn't think that they would have a brush that I could use on my face, my body, and my feet. We're not doing that today. I'm just gonna wash my face first thing in the morning. I need to get my day started. This is day one of my new skincare journey. And I'm really hoping that this skincare system from the Duval brand can help me clear up my skin the way that I would like it to be. As of right now, I only use two products on my face and they're both from the same brand. It's Cetaphil or Cetaphil. I say Cetaphil, I've heard people say Cetaphil, but this is what I've been using since I was a child. As long as I can remember, this is the only soap that I use to wash my face. Literally anytime I need face soap, I buy Cetaphil. And then I also apply the the same Cetaphil moisturizing cream that I would up that this is for your whole body. I put it on my face. I know that there are specific Cetaphils for your face, and I have maybe once or twice um, in my adult life purchased the face lotion, but it really didn't seem to make that much of a difference for me so I didn't and see the feels kind of expensive so I didn't feel the need to do that I am not opposed to trying new things and to be honest I think you know over the next few months of trying to get my skin to a place that I want it to be I will try new things like I do plan to make a trip to Sephora and try the more you know extensive skincare options that they have there but until i feel like spending that money we're gonna just start off with some cetaphil and then who knows i might not need any expensive um skincare um creams and lotions and face washes if the secret ingredient to my whole skincare issue was just using a tool instead of my hands so we're gonna see how this works. I will probably try to stick with the same products for at least two weeks before trying something new, just to see how well, how much of a difference the brush makes on its own. I will give you an up close and personal of my bare face, just to say that we documented day one properly. This is my skin. And I honestly think that the camera, oh, oh, I was just about to say the camera is being my friend right now, but here we go. Mind you, I need to get my mustache threaded, I know. This is my skin. Hello. Let's focus. These are my dry lips. This is my mustache. <laughs> okay. So I do have like discoloration um from teenage acne and adult acne that i honestly i pop my pimples sue me um yeah those are my bushy eyebrows what i notice what i think people can notice a lot is my nose gets a lot of like you know 
So when I was younger, I used to live with my grandparents for a while and my grandma taught me this trick to like smush my nose up really hard. <laughs> this is so gross. I don't know if anybody else does this, but she would smush my nose up really hard to make the um, clogged pores come out of my face. You get what I'm saying? Like, so all this, all of that nastiness that you see here, smush it up and it would come out. Does anybody else do that? Is that like a technique when you get facials or something? But that's the view of my skin. Overall, I don't think it's too, too bad, but I do know that it needs to be exfoliated and I need to get rid of all these clogged pores and um, I would love it if I could find a product, like even down here, you know, on my chin. It just, it just looks clogged. I just want it to be clear. I want my pores to be non-existent. So let's see if this spring brush helps. So this is the regular cleansing brush. I cleaned the brush first. Now I'm going to apply my Cetaphil face wash. Actually, what I'm about to do is clip my hair back. <laughs> let's wet up my face. Do I look like the girls in the commercials? Okay. Wipe up the brush again. I'm going to pump the soap onto the brush. Don't know if that's how you do it, but that's what I'm doing. And turn it on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. It feels like it's doing its job. This actually feels really great. It feels like a massage on my face. And I, ooh. So I honestly don't feel like I need or want to use the exfoliation brush right now, but I will try, um, try that at a different time and I'll let you know how that goes. But now it's time to rinse off all of this soap after I nearly let it dry completely on my face. I'm not even kidding guys, my face feels so much better already, like it feels smooth. I prefer using a paper towel to dry my face because towels, like body towels are rough on your skin and they're also a little germy. I'm a germaphobe if you can't tell. This is an after view of my face. And I will say that it does feel a lot smoother. I do think that if I took the extra step to put on the exfoliating spin brush, it might be even more smooth and definitely I'd get rid of that clogged look that I see when you zoom into my nose. Um, but I'm so happy with the results so far and I can't wait to continue this journey. So now I'm about to go lotion my face and then eat some breakfast before I start my work for the day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Hold on, hold on. Before I go, I just remembered that Duval gave me a promo code to give you guys. So you could get 70% off your own skincare system if you go to their website, duval.com, and I'll put the specific link in the description below so that you can get to the product, the skincare system um, set in itself. And you could get 70% off if you click that link in the description below and enter the promo code PROUD, P-R-O-U-D. And yeah. I hope that you guys enjoy your spin care systems as much as I enjoyed mine and I'm absolutely going to keep you posted on my journey to better, healthier, clearer, poreless skin. Okay? Bye-bye.